us in the studio, Pastor Neil Ackridge, who's going to bring the word to us on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. So get your particulars in order, your Bibles, your papers, your pens, and be ready. Hey man, good afternoon, Sister C, and all of you that are tuned in on this wonderful, cool and cold uh, Tuesday. But we give God glory for another day. It's a little breezy out, but we thank God for even being able to feel the breeze. We thank God for you tuning in every day that the broadcast is airing. We thank God for all of you and your families for support of this radio station here in our local city of Lewisburg. We want to thank everyone. We thank Minister Connie Hespeth for allowing me an opportunity one more time to share a word to God's people. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who's the head of my life, who woke me up this morning and started me on my way. The same God, the amen, that woke me up is the same God that woke you up this morning, too, and he's worthy to be praised. Amen. You know, we look at our situations, but we know that God is able. He's able. He's so able. And I would just want you to remind yourself that whatever you're going through, God is able to get you through it. He's able to fix every situation. And 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 just to note that it's not on our time, but in God's time. And amen. And he's always on time. You know, we, we press for things to happen, but God don't work on time. God works at his own time. Amen. And it's always turn out to be right on time but we just want to t- uh, talk to you on this afternoon coming from the first uh first peter the first chapter amen the fir- first peter the first chapter glory to god there's a lot of people uh before i get into it there's some people that i know that's dear to my heart that have been dealing with uh, sickness. They had contracted COVID, but we know that God is still a healer. He's still able, and we're praying because I know my dear, I call him Pop, I call him Amen Dad, and and I know that he is uh, at the hospital, and I know the situation, but God is still able to cure every disease. He's able to heal that body. And I know that he's a tough old man, and I just thank God for him. He's always got something to encourage me. He don't hold his tongue when we're wrong. He 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 tells it like it is, and I just thank God for him and his wife for opening up the doors uh, for me at my time uh, uh, in my life that I had when I didn't have a place, amen, they opened their doors. And I just thank and praise God, hallelujah, for being able to eat uh, at that dinner table just as uh, uh, like I was one of the families. And he was battling for his life. He coded and they brought him back. And, and this thing is serious, but we know that God still is, is able to keep us. He's still able. I, I endured, amen, throughout all last year, 2020, amen. And I thank God that I was not attacked. I thank God that he still had his hand on me. I thank God that he still is in control, amen. But we want to pray for those that are sick. And I have a family member that's dealing with with dealing with uh dealing with uh cancer amen on the brain and i just know that there's a lot of people are, are going through there's some people that i know that have lost a loved one there's they're they're going through uh the turmoil of the and the 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 the, the, the sets of life but god is still good to be praised he's still good to be worshiped amen but let's go to god in prayer for all those that are sick and those that you know that i may not know I want to just encourage you through the prayer, amen, on this afternoon. Father, we are, hallelujah, in control of our life, God, and we cry out on this afternoon that you would touch that sick body, that you would heal that sick body, and that they will get up and give you glory, and they will give you praise, Father. We acknowledge who you are, that you are all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-loving, and God, I call upon your name this afternoon just to touch, oh God, your people that are dealing with all types of sickness, that you, God, can do all things. And God, I thank you, oh God, for you said in your word, where we are weak, you are strengthened. Father, we're needing you now at this hour to touch some mother, touch some grandparent. Uh, 
We need you to touch, oh God, those that are dealing with ailments in their body. Father, we know that you can do all things. And I'm asking you on their behalf on today if that you would just touch those knees and touch those backs and touch that those organs, oh God, that they will be able to function right, God. I'm asking you on today, God, those that are dealing with pneumonia, those that are dealing with COVID, God, we're asking you right now for healing, that, that the healing will go forth, oh God, that they will be complete, that they will be whole, oh God. I'm asking you on this hour, God, that you will continue to touch, oh God, the people in this nation. Father, I'm thanking you, oh God, for right now for a right mind. I thank you, oh God, for your son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. I thank you, oh God, that he ra was raised from the dead with all power in his hand. I thank you for the gift of salvation on the day. For whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Father, I thank you for all the things that you have done. I thank you for those that are going to have a turning away on today, our oh God. I give you praise and glory for their salvation. I thank you, oh God, that the shackles are going to come down off of their feet, oh God. I thank you that they will be no longer bound. I thank you for those that are sitting there with heartache and pain. I thank you, oh God, because I know that you can bring them out. Oh God, I thank you, oh God, that even if we're in the valley, you're in the valley with us, oh God. And I praise your holy and righteous name. Even though there might be a storm out on the ocean, oh God, but you're there even at the ocean where we are. I thank you on this hour, oh God, that you will continue to touch our seniors, oh God, those that uh, don't have the families to come by and check on them while they are there alone. God, I'm asking you to continue to comfort them in the midst of their loneliness, oh God. I pray that you continue to strengthen up their spirit, oh God, that's on the inside of their bodies, oh God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for grace and mercy that found me yet another day to wake up, oh God, to know that I'm forgiven for all of my sins. I thank you, oh God, at this hour, oh God, hallelujah, for that grace that, that is sufficient for us. I thank you, oh Heavenly Father, oh God, how you continue to bless us over and over again, even when we don't deserve it, God, you still show us your love. I thank you, oh God, for your love and your tender mercies. I thank you, oh God, for our brothers and sisters in Franklin County, oh God, I thank you for every neighbor, oh God. But Father, we're going to cry out to you on today, God, because there are some things in our nation that we can't change. There are some things that we can't fix, oh God. But you are fixer of all things, oh God. And Father, I submit myself to you on today, God. I surrender myself to you on today, God. I lift my hands to you, oh Heavenly Father, on today, God, that you will take care of all our needs and continue to make our path a right way, oh God. And I thank you for all those that are listening on today, that they are so somebody. They are important to you, oh God. You created all of us, oh God, and I thank you on today, oh God, for creating us in all types of sizes and shapes and color, oh God. But God, we're all your children, and I'm asking you on today, oh God, that we be a people that will repent today, oh God. I repent, oh Father, for anything that I've done that displeased you, oh God. I ask you, oh God, to create in me a clean heart and renew my mind to a right spirit. Father, I praise thee, oh Lord, Oh, God, I praise thee, oh, Lord, for you are worthy. And, Father, I pray that you will bless this word on today, God, that somebody will get something out of the message on today. Oh, Father, you are our strength and our redeemer. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. First Peter, the first chapter. And I want to talk with you just for a little while about getting ready for a different you. Amen. Getting ready for a different you. Amen. And the subtopic is I surrender all. Amen. I surrender all. Oh, amen. You can't fix yourself. Amen. I can't fix myself. Amen. When I tried to fix myself, I messed up over and over again. Every time I try to fix a situation, it messed up. I made it worse. But when I surrendered to God, when I surrendered to do his will, amen, I became a different me. Oh, yes. There's somebody out here today. Amen. You won't change, but you still trying to fix it yourself. You still trying to iron out the 
pieces yourself. And every time you look back, you made a mess. But if you were surrender today and, and say, Lord, I've been messing up for years and, and I've been making a mess of it. I need you to fix what I have messed up. Oh, I'm surrendering today ah, to your will and to your way. I'm surrendering. Oh, I want somebody to get ready for a different you. Amen. People are going to look at you from where you came from. They're going to remember how you used to cuss, how you used to party, how you used to drink, how you used to run around with men, how you used to run around with women, how you used to be so messy. But there's something that came in your life that changed your very foundation in the way you think, in the way you walk, in the way you talk. And his name is Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Hey, yes, Lord, getting ready for a different you. Amen. Let's go to the word of God. The Bible tells us in first Peter, first chapter net, verse three, the Bible says, blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy, or oh, somebody need to say abundant mercy is <laughs> something about Jesus that, that will make chills go down your spine. <laughs> when you think about why he died for you <laughs> and died for me and died for your grandbabies, <laughs> all his sin shivers down your body to know that this man that had no sin gave up his life. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, that we might live. Oh, my God. Oh, according to his abundant mercy, his mercies endure forever. His mercy is overflowing. His mercy, come on, somebody. Oh, yes, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope. This is why we can look up and live because there's a lively hope on the inside because of Jesus' abundant mercy in our life. Oh, yes, sir. I'm getting ready for a different me. Ah, oh, yes, Lord. Amen. Come on, let's get this word here. I'm getting too happy. Oh, yes, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. In other words, if Christ did not be raised from the dead, we will have to pay the debt of all the sins that we have done in our life. But the interceder, oh, his name is Emmanuel. His name is Jehovah Jireh. His name is Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth. He is the one that paid all that debt for us. Oh, yes, your money couldn't do it. Your money can't do it. Your last name can't do it. Your doctor or degree can't do it. Oh, all of the prestige you got can't do it. it. It don't matter what kind of office you hold. Hallelujah. But it's about the blood of Jesus and his sacrifice for all mankind that whosoever will believe in him. Oh, you got to believe shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, let's get to this word. Amen. Let's go to verse number four. Amen. Hallelujah. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefined file and that fadeth not away. Oh, his love fadeth not away. Oh, how many times we look back and how we done been so ugly, how we done just did things so wrong, but yet Jesus loves us. Oh, yes, sir. Amen. Somebody can do you wrong and you're going to pout for weeks. Somebody can mistreat you. Oh, and you want to get even. Oh, but I thank God. Hallelujah. That Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Don't get upset Set with us. This is why grace and mercy abundance, hallelujah, much. Amen. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled. Amen. It's, it, this inheritance is undefiled. Amen. The enemy can't mess up. Hallelujah. What God has for us. Hallelujah. He can do some things. The devil can do a, a lot of things, but God, hallelujah, gives him permission, just like he gave him permission to mess with Job, but yet God turned right around and blessed Job double for his trouble. Oh, yes, Lord. So let's go on. Let's go on. Amen. Where Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness 
through manifold temptations. And, and what God is saying that 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 that, that there's gonna be a season where you can rejoice like you don't want everything. Oh, you can rejoice because everything is going good. Oh, things are so perfect. You got peace in your house. Oh, your husband is acting right. Your wife is acting right. Your children are being obedient. All oh, everything seems going so good and so well. But there are gonna come a season where you're gonna cry on the edge of the bed and God gonna see your tears hit your clothes. Oh my God. But we got to understand, hallelujah, that we ought to greatly even rejoice through our trials and tribulations. Hallelujah. Because even though weeping endure for a night, the joy will come in the morning. Somebody need to say joy coming in the morning. Hallelujah. Your joy is coming in the morning. Hallelujah. I don't ever see where my ag agony or my pain, oh my God, ha happens every day of my life. Hallelujah. I might go through a season where everything is upside down. I might go through a season where I feel like I want to lose my mind. But then God turns right around in the next season. He give me joy abundantly. He give me peace. Hallelujah. Because everything gets back into order. Oh, yes, Lord. So we got to greatly rejoice. Because though now a season, if need be, you are in heaviness. Through all of the temptation that come your way. People cussing you out. People uh, scandalizing your name. People just want to target you. People want to just destroy you. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you with nothing. And they want to come around and try to steal everything you got. They want to come around and make your life a living hell. But glory be to God. There's another day that's coming. Because even though that weeping may endure for a night. Joy will come in the morning. That joy might be on tomorrow. That that joy might be right now in the next few hours. That joy, that unspeakable joy only comes for Jesus Christ. And when you become a new person, hallelujah, you will be able to identify the tricks of the enemy. You will be able to identify the alerts that, that God has given you. And therefore, you won't shake. Therefore, you won't run. But you will stand firm on this word that no weapon formed against me shall ever prosper. Hallelujah. God will, will provide and his mass his mighty will hallelujah will prevail come on somebody amen let's go to verse seven yes lord the bible tells us that the trials of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish amen you look at gold gold is supposed to be that which uh, of, of great value gold is something that is dug up from the earth and and put through a fire and it is it is then made and shaped into what we see that's called gold the trials of your faith God is saying the trials of your faith is more precious than, than gold because even gold going to fade away. Even gold going to perish, but your faith endure, hallelujah, for your lifetime. Amen. If you got faith, your credit score don't matter. When you got faith, glory to God, your circumstance don't matter. When you got faith, glory to God, hallelujah, when the enemy come to attack you, hallelujah, it won't shake you from praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. So, so, so your faith, the trials of your faith is much more than, than gold that perishes. Amen. That, 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 that fades away. Amen. Though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wherefore, gird up your loins of your mind. Amen. And that's what we need to do is, 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 is have a, a mind detox. We need to detox from negativity in people. We need to detox from even some family folk. We need to detox from people that, that, that they're always bringing their sad sock stories. Amen. Because it ought to be something good air now and again. But every time you turn around, there go Miss Willie. Hallelujah. Miss Willie coming over there. And every time you turn 
turn around, it's always woe is me. Every time you talk to her, it's always that and always a problem. Every now and then, I ought to hear Miss Willis say that that God is still good. Every now and then, I ought to see that that hear that God is is an amazing God. Every once in a while, she ought to have a song in her heart. Every once in a while, she ought to have praise in her lips. But every time you turn around, it's car, my car broke down on this day. Oh, my children acting up on the next day. Oh, my feet is hurting on the, this day. My relationship with another person oh, is always something. Every time you're talking, oh, they got something bad to say. But every once in a while, when they see you coming, they ought to ask you, how's your day going? And you say, God is good. What's happening on the next day? God is great. Oh, oh my God. It's something that ought to be different day by day. Amen. But every year, the same old song is being sung. But we got to get our mind right. Amen. We got to get our mind right. So therefore, we got to gird up the loins of our mind. Amen. We got to get up, get our mind together. We got to get our mind refocused. Amen. Because the news done got us crazy. The media done got us in a frenzy. And everybody don't know what to do. Everybody's about to lose their mind because of a pandemic. Hallelujah. I know that it's bad out here. It's just like it was bad long time ago with smallpox, with malaria, and all those things that people endured of the old time. But my grandmother, when she was alive, endured all those things at a hundred and something years old when she died. Oh, but people have come from a mighty long way. There were some people getting beheaded because they love God. Hallelujah. And their, their endurance. Hallelujah. A generation that continued to live. We got to continue to live even through this pandemic. But God is saying on today, I want you to be a new you. I want you to have strength. I want you to have power. I want you to understand that I did not give you the spirit of fear, but a power. I gave you power to speak into the atmosphere. I gave you power to, to speak into those things as though they were healing. I know you're there. Hallelujah. Way. Hallelujah. Bills. I know you're going to get paid. Hallelujah. It's hard to say when you only got $12 in your account and your light bill is $300. It's hard to say. Hallelujah. When you don't have nobody. But that was just like the widow woman. Hallelujah. And her son. They didn't have food to eat. They didn't have a whole lot. Matter of fact, they was near death. And the widow woman told the prophet, I'm going to fix this little cake for me and my son. For me and my child. And we're going to eat it and die because we are perishing because of lack of food. We're going to perish because people didn't come by and see about us. But it was something about God. Hallelujah. That when she heard the words from the man of God. Hallelujah. And he said unto the woman, fix me a little cake first. The woman could have said, no, this is all I got. And we're going to eat it and die. But yet, what did the widow woman do? She began to fix the preacher. Hallelujah. His food first. And because she fixed the man of God's food first. Hallelujah. And didn't think about her death situation. Hallelujah. God repaid her. Hallelujah. By not allowing her meal to go empty. Hallelujah. Her oil didn't run low. Hallelujah. Because her faith. Hallelujah. Did not quiver. Hallelujah. Even though that was the last she had. She provided the man of God with what she had. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. Just like the widow woman. Giving her two mites. All she had to her name. Hallelujah. Was those two mites. Those two talents. All she had. Hallelujah. When you give all you got. God is looking at that. And he's saying my my my. Sister Esther. She's gave all that she got. And she ain't got no more. And I consider her. Her giving. Abundant giving. Because when she turn around. She ain't got nothing else coming. When she look into the cabinet. She ain't got nothing else to eat. But because she had love on her heart to still fix somebody else something to eat. My God, God will supply her need. Let's go real quickly. Amen. So, so let's go back here. Amen. Let's got, we got to, 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 to what? Creating us, amen, a new atmosphere. That means if you got to 
to separate from some folk, if that means you got to cut ties with some folk, amen, it's nothing wrong with that. It's not saying that you're better. It's not saying, amen, that you, that you know, you're trying to, to, to act like you, you want to be so better. No, it, it, it's a season come that you might have to cut yourself off from people that are negative, to cut yourself off from people that are not talking the way you, that you walking, amen. So sometimes you got to go alone, amen. So we got to understand wherefore, uh, gird up your loins of your mind and we got to be sober and hope and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust of your ignorance, but as he which have called you, hallelujah, is holy. Hey Amen. This is what I want to get today. God is calling for America to come back to him. But yet we still do what we ought, we want to do. Amen. We, we're in a society now. Amen. The technology society now. Amen. We are just a technology generation that, that we want it when we want it. Amen. You want it when you want it. Hey, if you, if you look at these kids today, when they want something, they want it. If they don't get it, they about to go crazy. You take them cell phones. They about to lose their mind. They want to leave home. They want to run away when you try to discipline them. Amen. This is the society that we're in. Amen. But God is calling us back to him. Amen. This is why we we got to wake up and and, and be sober minded. Amen. You got to have a clear mind if you're going to continue to stay in this race. Hallelujah. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust of our ignorance. Amen. But as he which has called you holy, he's holy. So ye so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. This is what people ask me. You know, people ask you, what, what denomination are you? That don't matter to a hill of beans. <laughs> Amen. Come on, somebody. Because it, at the end of the day, God said that we ought to be holy. Amen. He didn't say we got to be uh, first Epis Episcopal uh, Baptist Church uh, 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 apostle, uh, apostolic. No, he called us to be holy. Amen. In all our areas of our life. Amen. Because it is written, be holy for I'm holy. That is what God called us to be. He didn't call us to be anything else but to be holy and we can do it because God said, I give you a reasonable request. He said, in other words, I know your limit. I know what you can and cannot do. And what I'm asking you or what I'm telling you to do rather, amen, it is a reasonable request. It's reasonable to love your neighbor as yourself. It's reasonable to love thy God with all thy heart and thy soul, thy might. It's, it's reasonable, hallelujah, to not lie. It's reasonable, come on somebody, to not steal from your brother and sister. It's reasonable, hallelujah, not to want to see your sister fall. It's not reason. it's reasonable, hallelujah, not to point the finger with somebody to make a mistake. It's reasonable. Come on, somebody. It's reasonable. Amen. Because it's written, be ye holy for I'm holy. For, for as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold for your vain conversation received by traditions of your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ. That's where I want to get to, and I'm closing, amen. The precious blood of Christ, amen. It's something about that blood. Hallelujah. It's something, amen. When you close your eyes and think about the blood, hallelujah. Oh, my God, you feel so good. Hallelujah, because we look back over our life. I know I'm not worthy. I know I wasn't worthy to preach the word. I know I'm not worthy to teach, but it's something about that blood. Hallelujah. That washed away all of my iniquities. It washed away my language. It washed, washed away. Hallelujah. My thirst to drink alcohol. It, it washed away all of those things. It cleaned me up. It made me whole. It changed my outlook on life. Hallelujah. It changed my mindset. When I think about that blood. Hallelujah. Something about the blood. You need to tell your neighbor Oh, something about that blood. Amen. But the precious blood of Christ as a lamb with Without blemish or without spot. Hallelujah. This is how we 
become different. Amen. Because the precious blood, it, it cleans us. It, it renews us. Amen. It's just like they're putting a, 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 a rock in a fire called gold. Amen. When the rock get to a, a, a place in the, in, the, in the furnace, amen, to a certain temperature, it come out. Amen. Hallelujah. Looking like something different. Amen. It's just like gold. Amen. Gold don't look like it do. Amen. On the shelf when it come out the ground. When it come out the ground, it is not pleasing to look at. When you come out the ground, oh, you might not want it. When it come out the ground, you say it ain't no value. But when it go through a refining process, oh, you looking at Jerry and you say, oh, those goals is good. I want to buy those diamonds. And just like us, when we, we, we get into God, hallelujah, that blood change our mind. It change of who we used to be. It makes us different. It makes us talk different. It makes us look different on life. It lets us know, hallelujah, that we are changed. And glory be to the Lamb of God that we are changed and we are different. I thank and praise God for all of you. Amen on today for tuning in. I pray that something said on today bless you. Get ready for a different you. God bless you.